pictorial drawing? What is a pictorial drawing? It's a picture of an object. It is a 3D representation of an object on a 2D surface. What is a good example of that? We've talked about this before. That would be an isometric drawing. It simulates the actual size and shape of an object, but does it actually give us the real size and shape? It does not, cannot, because it is a 3D object on a 2D piece of paper. Okay. What is a perspective drawing? From your perspective, right? The word perspective is from your perspective. To have a perspective drawing, what are the two things that you must have? Vanishing point and horizon line. Very good. Now, perspectives are often taking a, I'm sorry, you often think of railroad tracks. We talk about perspective. For a vanishing point, do railroad tracks look like they come together? Yes. Yes, they do. Do they actually come together? No. No. Railroad tracks are an example of parallel lines. Two lines that run side by side at equal distance apart but never meet. For 50 extra credit points class. Ooh, that got your attention. <laughs> How far apart are railroad tracks? Four gauge. Not gauge. How far apart are regular, regular railroad tracks? Four feet. Four feet. Two and a half feet. Fifteen seconds. They're the size of a horse's behind. Okay, they are not the size of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. They are four foot nine inches apart. You would have known, not known that because it's an odd size. The reason that they're four foot nine inches apart is because that is the distance between the wheels of a Roman chariot. Oh. How about that? Huh. All right. So, our number one pictorial drawing is an isometric drawing. They give us an accurate representation of the size and the shape of the object but angles or curves cannot be shown at actual length. On an isometric drawing, as in your packet, we have an axis that's represented by a Y. That is the beginning point of all isometric drawings. It allows you to go <coughs> three different directions in your drawing. All right. Orthographic projection is the other type of drawing. Orthographic projection is used to show the actual shape and size of a drawing, but only one side at a time. When you have an orthographic box, how many views do you have? Six. We have a total of six views. When you open the box up, you have a top. You have a front. States. Third angle that shows the top of the part, like this. Okay? Now, the 
main view of a part is called a what? Main primary view. Primary view. From a primary view, if we have another view, let's say our airplane was right here, and I had this type of line on our airplane. What is that called? A cutting plane line. And it says, I'm going to cut this airplane here, and you're going to come over here to AB and have this view. So, looking at this cutting plane, am I looking forward or aft? aft. I'm aft. How do you know that? Because that's the way the arrows point. They're telling you to look that way. Now, that's a secondary view. If I cut this again, if I had another cutting plane here, or even another view here, just an arrow, I could have one that says A, D. I'm making these numbers up. And A, D could say view looking up. That is called a tertiary view. The third one is called a tertiary view. And you could go farther than that, but usually you don't go more than three. All right. Now then, we divide airplanes in several different ways. The first way we divide an airplane is from front to rear. So if I divided this airplane from front to rear, what are those called? Stations. Those are called station planes or fuselage stations, either one. They refer to locations from the front to the rear of the aircraft. <coughs> Where do station planes start? The Most people do think it's the nose, but it's actually in front of the airplane. Why would we start in front of the airplane? Very good. So things that hang off the nose are not negative. Have you ever seen an airplane with a boom off the front? There are no negative station planes. They are always positive. Okay. The next way that we divide an aircraft is from bottom to top. What are those called? Those are called water lines. Water lines start where? From the ground. On the ground or below the ground, depending on the drawing. But they'll always be at the bottom of the plane working up. The third and most interesting type that we have divide the fuselage right to left. What are those referred to? Buttock lines. Buttock lines. Now, buttock lines are different than the other ones because we have right buttock lines and we have left buttock lines. How do we determine which side is the right and which side is the left? Okay. If you are in the pilot seat, Everything to the right of the plane, to the pilot's right, is the right side of the plane. Everything to the pilot's left is the left side of the plane. Now, in our drawing here in AB, we're looking at this. Which way is right and which way is left? It is opposite because in this view, we are looking to the aft, so as the pilot, as the pilot is sitting here, we're looking over his shoulder. That changes the side of that. So buttock lines change the side depending on that. Okay? We also have wing reference planes. They're used to identify the exact location on the wings. Now the thing about wing reference planes that makes them interesting is that they are perpendicular to the leading edge. Okay, so that's to identify things on the wing. So in this drawing, awesome drawing, right? Awesome. You guys love my artwork. <laughs> the wing stations are going to look like this. If I had not lost my green pen, I bet it's in my pockets. Hey, <laughs> if we had an aircraft that had straighter wings, Aircraft on X. 
then the wing stations would run like this. Because the key again is they are perpendicular to the leading edge of the plane. All right, that is reference.